Back to me. Back to your Now back to me. Sadly, your man is not me. But if he played Warhammer and collected comics, he could be geeky like me. <laughs> yes, I would be considered a geek in today's society, but who here would also consider themselves a geek? Thank you very much. We've been made fun of for being a geek. Yes, our society frequently labels geekiness as negative. But you know what? I'm proud to be a geek. Why? Because I have learned the one thing that has made all the difference. And no, it's not how to defrag a hard drive or run from bullies. Although, ladies, I do know how to do both. <laughs> what I have learned, and will try to persuade you today, is that geeks make the best boyfriends. This is shown in PST, Parents, Software, and Trendiness. <laughs> Three key aspects which make the geek life rich in opportunities for the future. So, first of all, we come to parents. According to Society of the Basics, a sociological textbook, parents are the number one influence on teenagers as they grow into adults. So it's no wonder why eHarmony states that the second most popular reason for breakups is parental pressure. You see, I've got this theory. Throughout history, marriage was a sort of business deal. So parents wanted the most successful man for their daughters, so their legacy could live on. Take, for example, Marie Antoinette and King Louis XVI. Their marriage facilitated a truce between France and Austria. Therefore, I believe there's an innate drive in all parents pushing their children towards the most successful person. And you know what? That's where his geeks come in. How many times has this happened to you? You bring home your date. You're really excited. You show your parents, Mom, this is Jimmy. And then you get this look. You know. <laughs> like, oh my god, you could do so much better. Kind of look. Well, with a geek, that'll be the thing of the past. Because now when you're asked, oh, so what do you do for a living? The answer will be, oh, I'm a software engineer. Or, I own my own civil engineering firm. Rather than the obvious, oh, I'm a cook at McDonald's. <laughs> yes, to parents, us geeks are hot commodities. <laughs> Secondly, we come to software. Now, I know what you're thinking. Teenage geeks, software, World of Warcraft, right? And that would be pretty negative. But you in the front there, so, what's your name? Kevin? My name's Kevin. Nice to meet you. Now, how many hours do you think the average World of Warcraft player spends a week playing? Uh, 15. Close. According to GameSpot, a reputable gaming site, the average World of Warcraft player spends 21 hours playing a week. Now, this might seem negative, but it's not all bad. You see, for me, I treat my computers like luxury cars. I choose them very carefully and keep them in tip-top shape. So, while us geeks were leveling up our level 80 paladins, we had to make sure our computers were free from any viruses or spyware. And you know what? We can transfer this knowledge to help you, the girlfriend. So, let's say you're one of the average people who gets, according to Norton's, 15,000 spyware files a year. And one of these files prevents you from looking at your Facebook. Oh no, not my Facebook. What am I going to do? How am I going to message Jimmy and write on Bob's wall? Well, you know, that would be negative. But you are dating your very own geek squad. <laughs> Just call them up and be like, Pookie, please help. We'll be there in a second. Error 404 message on your computer? Forget about it. Virus? Call us Dr. PC. With your Swiss army knife of a boyfriend, you can cut through any software with ease. Thirdly, and probably most importantly, guys, in our society, geeks are chic. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Yeah, Mike, sure. Urkel glasses and suspenders really turn a girl on. But you know what? It's true. Jay Baruchel, Jonah Hill, Screech. These are three men who have made it in Hollywood. Why? Because they're not afraid to expose their geeky exterior. Take, for example, Jay Baruchel. He recently made $2 million for his role in She's Out of My League, a movie which showcases his relationship with the beautiful Alice Eve. And guys, now that this idea of geeks being trendy has hit the mass media, look out. We're about to experience a geek renaissance. <laughs> yes, imagine a world where all people, no matter how nerdy, can walk up to someone, wink and say, how you doing? <laughs> In conclusion, guys, it's evident geeks make the best boyfriends. PST shows us we're good with parents, know our software, and are trendy as hell. Now, still don't believe me or want to learn more? Go ask one on a date. We have more game than you might think. Sure, we might not be as ruggedly handsome as the old Spice Matt, but we are the true underdogs. And really, who doesn't love a good underdog? 
So when you decide which geek you want to be dating, I'll be on my computer. Yeah. <laughs>